you're in an AEW group. Yeah, and for an AEW group, there's a lot of hate on AEW, which, I mean, you can criticize AEW all you want, but why are you in a fan group if all you want to do is shit on it? And that seems to be what, like, I'd say at least 70% of the posts are somebody just, you know, giving AEW shit. And it's like, okay, why are you here? But I digress. So the post in question had a screenshot of The Miz and MJF, and I will read it, the caption. Uh, I'm not going to say who put it, because that's just something shitty to do. But anyway, the, the caption is, who is better in relation to The Miz and MJF? Both have great mi- great mic skills, average wrestling ability, and similar gimmicks. And like I said, not only am I rarely on Facebook, but I almost never engage with a post because, well, you know how Facebook arguments go. Yeah. But I just felt compelled to say average wrestling skills, average, really? And I actually got a lot of people agreeing with me. I would, I, nobody really shit on what I was saying, but my point was I mean, for somebody to say with a straight face that these two guys who are both on national television, both started their started their wrestling careers on national television at relatively young ages to be where they are now. Now, the Miz's career took a little bit longer to, you know, well, get steamrolling. But, I mean, they both started pretty young and were on TV pretty young. Well, but the only thing they gave Mitch the edge was, um, I think it was the real world. I don't think that gave him much of an edge in wrestling. In fact, I think that probably worked against him. Well, no, well, I mean, it worked against him because people didn't like that. Right. But it was still, it was still the thing that helped him out, especially when he, especially when he did tough enough. True. And everything when hit him and Ryback, especially when they both did tough enough and everything, and Danny Pewter won. It's like everybody knows out of all everybody who was in that tough enough, everybody knows the Miz should have won it. Yeah. Especially especially since him now. But still, I digress. But my point being <laughs> right. and, and again, MJF the Miz in particular. And, and as far as the wrestling skills, the average wrestling skills, it's like for you to say that and actually believe it means you must not watch wrestling. Because, I mean, think about it. I mean, how long has The Miz been in WWE? It's it's going on 15 years, is it not? Not quite, but it's going. It's been over uh-huh. 20 years. Because he debuted on ECW in like 2006, 2007. When? Or was he there earlier than that? No, hold on. Um, When did Eddie grow? Eddie died in 2005, right? I think so. I think it was 2005. Okay. Okay. Then 2004. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I only. I, oh, no, I he's always, going on 20 years. He's close to 20 years. No. Yeah. Five, well, then, yeah, almost 20, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's going on 20 years. Like, not quite, but he's he's close to 20 years. Right, well, I always... Right, but... <coughs> <coughs> crap. I don't have coronavirus. Um, That's your guys' topic for your podcast. <coughs> anyway... <laughs> Anyways, um, I only say that because when Daniel Pewter won it, he was in the Royal Rumble with um, Eddie Ray, Ray, Eddie Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit, and Harper Holly, and they all chopped him at the beginning of the Royal Rumble. Okay, and I only remember that because of that situation, and that's why I was trying to think when it was the when was the year that guys uh, and all that? So that was 2004 when that happened. Okay. Like, yeah. 2004 is when they had the 
tough enough million dollar competition. Right. So Cuter went into the Royal Rumble in 2005, and not too long after that, he was released. Right. My point is, so The Miz has been in WWE as an active wrestler for almost 20 years. Right. How many times has he been injured? Not that much, as far as I can remember. I, I can't remember one. I'm not saying he never has, but I can't remember one. How many times has he injured somebody else? Never. You don't wrestle somewhere for 20 years with average wrestling ability, period, much less hardly ever getting hurt and never, <clears throat> to my knowledge, never injuring someone. He is, I, I'm, he is one of the greatest WWE superstars that they have. And I defy you to mention one person that he's worked, especially in the last 10 years. Give me one person he's worked with that hasn't looked better after working with them. Uh, and I don't disagree with that. Dude, dude made Bad Bunny look good. Right. Okay. Case <clears throat> closed. 